When I was a sophomore, we used to have what we called euphemistically orientation, which was sort of a series of hazing games for the freshmen. And it culminated in this greased pole contest or the slime pit contest. There was a pole that was out on where the lighted soccer field is now, I think, and it had this pit. We filled the pit with mud and the pole was greased and on top of the pole it had a beanie the freshmen actually wore beanies for the first six weeks so everyone would know who they were and what college they were in so you could send them to the right place when they got lost. And if the freshmen could climb the pole and retrieve the beanie off the top of the pole and take it down, then that was the end of orientation. And otherwise, orientation went on for another four weeks or whatever it was. And in our year, the freshmen got clever and went and hired a helicopter and brought the helicopter in during the contest and reached out with long tong like pinchers and pulled the beanie off the pole or they thought they would but we of course had figured out something was coming and we had wired the beanie to the top of the pole so that it couldn't be removed at all and they wound up tearing it in pieces and they wound up with just a piece of a beanie so we had to agree that a piece of the beanie counted. And Life magazine used to publish a photograph of the week back in those days. Life, for these people that don't know, was a magazine. A magazine was a bunch of papers that were stapled together and had photographs in it. And they had a photograph of the week at the very back. And this was the photograph of the week was the helicopter as it came flying in and the tongs out there to retrieve the beanie off of the top of the pole while all of the sophomores threw mud at the helicopter. The helicopter pilot was, had decided he hadn't charged enough for the whole thing at the end.